Hi, my name is Chris Crothers. I'm with CyberStreams. We're a cloud champions partner with Microsoft. Uh, we, we've been working with Office 365 for a long time now, and uh, we would like to show you a little bit about the cloud functionalities uh, that they are offering. The services uh, that I'm talking about more particularly today is SharePoint Online. Uh, SharePoint is a collaboration tool. It is a line of business tool. It is a tool that is used for just about anything as far as uh, internal collaboration, internet use uh, that, that uh, can be for any company and any platform. Um, Office 365 allows you to have a large uh, uptime uh, with very little to no hardware investment other than your end user computers. You don't need any servers on site. Uh, you can uh, pretty much do everything that a large infrastructure SharePoint deployment uh, can do except uh, you just pay a pure per user basis. So it's a really nice way for our clients to get access to enterprise class tools in a small business market. <coughs> um, what we've done here is uh, we've used SharePoint to um, to have internal collaboration like tasks and calendars and uh, shared documents um, across the entire the entire organization. So you have um, you have the ability to have internal sites specific for each department. Uh, each department can have their own permissions, their own documents, their own content, and uh, and all visible through the chain of command in a company. So an executive can have access to all act to all information on a nice web-based client that is accessible from anywhere. So I can be looking at my accounting information, my accounting uh, staff's tasks and how they're doing from the kitchen table at my house, uh, all through Office Online, so, um, or for SharePoint Online. Um, one of the projects that we've done in the past was pretty fun. We had a, uh, we had a bakery, an internal bakery. So the company is a, a large restaurant. Uh, chain of restaurants, uh, a plethora of restaurants from pizza to Italian uh, to Mediterranean to Americana and seafood, all the things you can think of. Um, it's a local restaurant chain and they actually are kind of vertically integrated. They have their own farm and they have their own, um, they have their own bakery. And we've created an order system for both the farm and the bakery and the one I want to talk to you about a little bit is the bakery site. Uh, the bakery site does a lot of great things that you really don't see in the bakery custom built applications that you can buy out of the box these days. They had a specific way they wanted to do business and SharePoint allowed them to do the business exactly the way they wanted to with nothing else. <clears throat> so this allows everybody from the baker to the restaurant ordering to the accountant to the executive to see the entire outlook of what the bakery ordering is to them. They can see everything from the individual products that are built just for them. So if you're, if the, for instance, in their scenario, they have a pizza company or a pizza restaurant and they want only dough and a few other random bakery products specific for them to be seen in the product list when they log into their dashboard and make, it, and make an order, they only see the things associated to them. You know, they don't want cherry pies because that isn't related to their company. So what happens is when you log in you go and get your order form with your product list associated only for you so I go in and I'm, a, I'm, I'm the pizza company I'm gonna order 15 racks of dough and a couple French breads and a few other things from the bakery once I hit submit it gets put into a SharePoint list which is like an access database or a SQL database for all you guys that know a little bit about that uh, this SharePoint list is a, is a live tool on the web. Every order gets put into the SharePoint list and then this SharePoint list is live. This is, this is live on the web. So you have the access to the entire data set. So you have everything from who, what, when, why, quantity, and, and, uh, and you can manipulate that data right there on the web. Sort it, filter it, have any kind of da custom dashboards reported just that you want at that time. So if I wanted to filter down to just see what my pizza restaurant ordered today, I could hit a little filter button, it would drop down, and it would just s shorten this list up from the entire order ordering system to just the stuff ordered for that pizza company. 
Um, we can have preset dashboards, which is what we have as an example here on this on the whiteboard. Is you'd have a, you can have a dashboard for your bakers to see exactly what's uh, been ordered today and what they need to make. You can have a dashboard for your accounts to see how much bread we've been selling and how good the bakery is doing, how much or the restaurants are needing. Uh, and we can see on the restaurant side, they can see how much they've been ordering individually for their restaurants and we can lock it down so they can only see the stuff related to their related to them so they you know they don't have to see everything related to all the other restaurants how much everybody else is ordering and a whole wide view of everything that's going on in the bakery they just see stuff associated with them so what what we've done also and what's built into SharePoint with no extra custom tools built is the export to Excel functionality, which means we can take the entire database, the, the SharePoint list of all our orders, export to Excel, and we can have an Excel document that is a live representation of the data on the web, which means that I can hit a refresh data button in my Excel document. I can have a tab, a setup tab, that has all the data in the list, and then I have all these other tabs with special reports. Maybe I want to see only the things that I need to be made today. They, they have things called shape and bake days or shape and uh, mix days where they would mix you know, the, the products up uh, prior to shaping. So some products need to be mixed two days before, some products need to be mixed one day before. It's all a big calculation. And this, all, this, the reports that they built in Excel does all this information for them. So all they have to do is refresh and all their, all their pivot tables and all their data that they've made, these calculations get computed for them, lickety split, not a, not a problem. It all happens so fast and, and it's in a tool that everybody knows how to use. And I think that's one of the biggest parts about SharePoint and Excel, the, the collaboration between the two, is that everybody knows how to use Excel in the business world and being able to actually take this live data and, and manipulate it using tools that they already know really well inside of Excel makes it really powerful, especially for executive teams and accountants and uh, people that live in that tool a lot. Um, one of the things that we really like is the ability to forecast what we know from ever since we started using the tool, they can forecast the kind of needs that they have for the bakery as far as products and um, the, you know, the the materials that they're going to be needing for each month. They know how big certain months are for ordering. And uh, the same thing happens for the restaurant. They can plan it for, for their, uh, their actual ac accounting purposes there as well. So um, as a bird's eye view, it took a company that had an Excel document, which is a plain old Excel document, and they got emailed orders, and they manually inputted every single day how many bread of this roll and how many of this pizza dough and all of these you know kind of mundane tasks that take a lot of time and a lot of user error possibility that that is in just an Excel document with all macros and things that can break and uh, and it turned it into a, a wonderful SharePoint site that is web based they have iPhone access they can you know they can do all kinds of mobile functionality you know people can order on the on the go you know restaurant owners and managers can be working in the working in the restaurant I mean we need you know 15 rolls of dough tomorrow you know that kind of thing so you really really on the fly it's really a nice right nice tool that allows you to do a lot of things so uh, I think it's a tool that many companies could be benefited from and uh, or many companies can benefit from and I would uh, recommend taking a look at all the tools that SharePoint has to offer. There's a ton of different uh, ways to look at this. Um, SharePoint is a web-based tool so you gotta remember this, it's just like a website. So the cool part about it is that it has, it's a it's like a content management tool. It's been it's been developed by Microsoft, it's gone through many renditions so far, it's getting matured every year and more and more partners are becoming uh, are becoming strong developers in this uh, application. Allows you guys to get a ton of free templates and things online, a lot of great information online. So as I'm sure you guys Google or Bing this, you're gonna have a ton of information at your fingertips to just take a look at what other people have done with this tool. This is one small example of a small business implementation that has taken a small business into an enterprise class solution. So we, we've been able to do this on a pure, per user basis. They don't have to spend a lot of money on infrastructure. So we have, we have 
reduce server costs and the server the the the, um, the maintenance on such things, power, uh, ISP costs. I mean, think about the downtime, and uh, and I would definitely <clears throat> I would definitely take a look at SharePoint as an option for all you guys. Uh, again, my name is Chris Crothers. I'm with CyberStreams. Uh, we are an Office 365 uh, solutions provider. Uh, we provide all kind of Microsoft uh, solutions, and SharePoint is a big winner on our team, and I believe it will be for you. So take a look, and uh, thank you for joining us.